Yeah, it is 15 years for Father Fuller. 15 years it is. 15 years. 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 
and ours is the only laboratory in this region that has got accreditation for histopathology. And if somebody has seen the laboratory in 2007 and now in 2015, there is a lot of difference uh, because we had a very small uh, lab with a very small space provided but now in minus 2 we have got a huge lab with all sections provided uh, adequate space with all safety facilities being available and uh, we are doing uh, many laboratory tests including all the sections of the laboratory and all those assessors who have visited us uh, they have expressed their happiness over the continual uh, quality improvement that is made in terms of uh, our work practices, in terms of the commitment, and also in terms of the documentation what we are doing. As you know NAC stands for quality, there has been a lot of change in academy, uh, the way we, uh, we deal with academics that is um, taking classes or whatever, there have been a lot of changes, there is a lot of improvement in quality lot of documentation also we are more serious about the feedback we wanted to be a better uh, teaching institution and that's what it is going to be. We interact with students, it's, it's, it's the biggest uh, advantage this college has is that uh, uh, it's micro teaching, the small batches so we want to get to know students individually. Father Nulan Central Library started functioning in 1985 in the premises of Homeopathic Medical College block. Later it was shifted to Mother and Child block in the year 2000. Later it was shifted to Independent Building, named as Knowledge Center with the state of art facilities in 2011. This DM Hall was actually inaugurated on 2011, so the first few months we used to spend if you wanted to read any books, we had to go down to the dark dingy library which is there um, in minus two of Asha Kira. That was an extremely depressing place. Libraries are actually pretty depressing. Once this place opened up, it's actually pretty cool with a lot of, with a lot of uh, resources. You know, getting new, uh, newer editions of all the textbooks. So it is kind of fun to just go through and you know, even if you don't understand anything, at least have a look at all the pictures and say, oh, okay, it's feels good. Especially when you're reading some thick fat book and one of your friends passes by and you're like, you know, wow, then I love what they're doing. Facilities have been, uh, you know, installed for the students' uh, benefit. Um, there's free Wi-Fi, so that's an added advantage. Now the students can, can uh, you know, browse the net today without any, without any hesitation. So, um, yeah, so from... Um, from an era of reading from books to an era, to an era of e-learning, you know, uh, I think Father Miller's is, um, uh, is, 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 a, is a magnificent place to study undergraduation as well as post-graduation and it's an excellent place to work too. So I have been an undergraduate, a post-graduate and now a staff, so uh, I don't regret any of my, uh, uh, you know, my, I don't regret my transition and, uh, you know, where I am. Medical students are the only ones who, doing the course, they have learned to balance studies and the co-curriculums. I think uh, the medical students are the only one, better than any other branch, who can manage these two things very well. We have excellent training, and uh, later, the gym facilities was provided. And um, now, actually, things are much uh, going higher. Like, I mean, we are uh, uh, management is sanctioned for indoor study. Better. Max, in all the years, the number of pages have increased and obviously the quality also. So before the budget, okay, I agree, the, it had to be done within the budget. Uh, now, as the uh, years progress, you will. Uh, there was this is a time when the, we, when we were there, we were we had entered the college with like 3310 Nokia mobile. <laughs> Forget <laughs> selfies, you can't take even photos. So now there are so many photos you will have to actually literally search and pick few photos. 
that time whatever photos we had however blur was it was we had to just give it to the magazine and it would be printed one good thing is uh, what you wanted to administration the current administration is much more uh, you know uh, open to the fact of you know development and not just the education as so people the culture and everything uh, it was a little more difficult to you know convince them back then for the magazine in fact we both have been part of the magazine also to convince them to have a hard bind cover was so difficult back then and for genuine reasons of their own now it's like so it's much better that if you just take the magazine you can see the improvement from a uh, non bind to hard bind to Color pages were counted. Then now it's so free. Like they have. And uh, the college is really focusing on not just academics. That's right. That's right. I think that's good. Everything. So you know, I think students over here really have a chance of all-round development rather than you know mm. just studies. And, and you know, there's a lot of opportunities. Like uh, college sends students everywhere for extracurriculars, for sports, for cultural and all that. We are we are seeing so many people coming from abroad. Not only from Indian universities, even from foreign universities. We are seeing students approaching FMCI. Uh, so I think if we make use of all these resources, what the, the, the institution is having, probably in the coming years, the ways uh, the, we are not far ahead if we think in terms of a university status being achieved by the medical college and uh, students being get, uh, students getting a lot of approach through exchange programs or uh, uh, students getting fellowships easily and funding, especially research funding and other other programs. We are happy to know that the recent CET interview, postgraduate interview, most of these top-ranked students have sought our institution, which is a good thing to know. We love this place, and that's probably why that part of me pulled me back <laughs> to Farmulas to do my PG here. Also, college life was awesome, really. Yeah. Actually. Looking back on the five years that I spent as a UG here, I I I I I can't uh, you know begin to describe how amazing actually it was. Probably I didn't realize it at that time, but it it was really amazing. You know, came to know about Farmulas, especially when I was writing my entrance exams for medicine, and then uh, I googled it and saw pictures and then read about the features, and I was pretty impressed. So. Yeah, even while writing my entrance exams, I always had uh, Fathomulas as one of my top priorities, top options of my life. What I heard is that if you really want to learn, if you really want knowledge to become a good doctor, this is the place you want to be because the teachers they they are very interactive and uh, as students you get a lot of uh, hands-on experience with the patients and a lot of the running in the hospital is very student dependent. So then this is the best place if you want to learn like hands-on how to be a really good doctor. So that's what really drew me to this place compared to anywhere else. And unlike uh, most profession courses where people, I mean, teachers don't really care. Here they are more like moms and dads. Yeah. Okay, they actually they actually put in a lot of effort to teach, and they also put in a lot of effort to make sure you. It, I mean, we understand the subject. Not just in the classroom, even, even outside. outside. See, the medical students entering a medical college, and they will be very fresh when they join the in first year BBS. You know, they will not be knowing about the medical college, and I think that is an advantage for anatomy and the first year teachers. Isn't it? <laughs> so the first year teachers, we have the advantage. We'll, the students will be fresh. They have, uh, they have just joined the professional college, and uh, you know, definitely they will be uh, more receptive. And uh, we can mold them. We can change them. You know, we have a lot of opportunities to actually interact with them and uh, make them, you know, prepare them to be better doctors. Na na ni ta na 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 na. Na na ni ta na na ni na. Na na ni ta na 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 na. Na na ni ta na na ni na. So adrenaline started more because for once we wanted Father Mullers to come beyond uh, beyond what's been done, you know. And I think adrenaline has made an impact because it's a brand itself in its first year. And we've got such good sponsors. We've got Tata uh, Group Plus. And um, I think overall, we uh, after I think we worked at the max for a month and a half for the four days. But I've never felt that one and a half month to be stressful. I think it was the most enjoyable moment of all our lives where we 
booked so many people. I, I think I saw how much our staff is so talented and how much our staff can work together as well. I think more than, of course, it's really good in my own, you know, a huge amount of effort in the four days, but the planning of adrenaline was mainly by the staff. Great future for Father Mothers.